Did you see that? What was up with that? Pretty cool, right? Did you know that Bolt has an ambient light sensor located right up here? An ambient light sensor is a sensor that measures the amount of light that comes in contact with it. And we call that measurement Lux. And then that allows you to program Bolt to react to light. That's really cool. But how would I use that in a program? Well, just like we saw, you can have all the bolts start at the same time based on how much light they see. So if lights go on, they can all start scrambling away. Awesome. What does that look like in the Sphero EDU app? Well, let's take a look. In this program, we created two simple ways to start a program using the ambient light sensor. The first way is when the lights go on. We used a loop until block along a comparator that evaluates the value of the luminosity block. In this case, if luminosity is greater than 100 lux or the lights go on, then it exits the loop and executes the next line of code. Similarly, when you turn the lights off, we've used the same setup, but this time, if the luminosity is less than 100 lux, it exits the loop and executes the next line of code. You could copy what we have here and then add the rest of your code after the loop until block. You'll also notice the slight delay that is added to the beginning of each of these programs. This delay allows the ambient light sensor to get the most accurate reading before evaluating the intensity of the lux value. That's awesome. I can't wait to use that in my next program. Well, that's it for this week's Thursday Learn Day. Be sure to check out this activity in the Sphero EDU app and complete that one and all the others in the Sphero EDU app. We can't wait to see what you guys come up with next, and we'll see you next week. See ya. <laughs> that's terrible. <laughs> I know. I wish I knew how to laugh like that. <laughs> <laughs>